Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Dungeons and & Dragons, and we're going to talk about one particular reason why, how and why we overfill our Dungeons & Dragons tables. So let's talk about this. What is the right amount of people to have at your Dungeons & Dragons table? The answer is three. You should have three players at your Dungeons & Dragons table. I think 10, 20 years ago, uh, 30, 40 years ago, the answer was four. Four, has all, four was the optimal amount of people at your table. And the reason why is um, people want to do stuff in the game. They want, they want their voice to matter, right? So one of the things that a lot of people have talked about is Mercer's game is the template. Matthew Mercer, Matthew Mercer is the best dungeon master in the world. He literally, you know, he made rock stars and millionaires out of his players. Like, what, you know, what, what are you going to do? Like, you know, like, literally, if you have, if you got a seat, or, or you're a crushed, shamed person like Orion Akaba. He either makes you or breaks you. Like, literally, uh, Matthew Mercer makes and breaks the people who sit at his table. Right, like Orion Acaba is the you know is the Pete Best of the Beatles now, right? And and every time, you know Matthew Mercer achieves a new uh, you know a new you know glory gem, uh, you know um, Orion Acaba's name is shamed further. It's it's really bad. So, but you know, so basically, you have this situation where you you people want to do stuff at the table. They want their voice to matter and. Matthew Mercer's table was terrible. Every player character's got some secret origin and some secret, you know, goal. And one of the things I've been trying to do, and I've I've struggled with this, is I would come into a Dungeons & Dragons game and already in play are a bunch of incredibly robust backstories. And the Dungeon Master's like, what's your backstory? And I'm kind of like, I'd really like it to kind of be vanilla. And the reason why is I'm coming into this game in flight and there's like... And there are backstories that are being told and being resolved, right? So, one, I don't need to add more here. Like, let, there's stuff in flight, right? You know, like it. So, so, so three is the right amount today. And the reason, and it used to be four, but now there's so much that can be achieved at the table, both IRL and in the fantasy, right? There's so much help that we can aid players with. There's so much narrative that I really feel three is the optimum, right? Now, I have five people at my table right now, and the moment I had five people at my FLGS game that I run weekly, it's a Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition Eberron Obsidian campaign. The moment I had five people, I was like, you guys have been so, you know, so kind to respond to the invitations to this ta- to play at this table, but at this point, uh, everybody, invitations are shut down, right? I told you guys that you could invite players. It's done. We, we've, we've hit the mark, right? Like... Don't invite another person to the to this table because we're finished, right? And uh, you know, and and so we shut down invitations to the table, right? And there was somebody who came to me is like, "Hey, do you got a game?" And I'm like, "You you're a grand, you know, you're a player that I've known forever. You're grandfathered in, you know." And so yes, uh, and he and he literally was like, "Well, you know, the table's full, right?" And he's right. And so one, I got five players me and then I run Lego which takes a player space so we really have seven people sitting at a six person table already there is not a room for a single player more so recently I allowed a new invitation one of my players was like hey I want to invite a new person the moment I read that sentence I'm like no I don't I don't want to do that but I don't answer yet and it says um I think she'll enjoy the game and she would join tomorrow right and I'm like bet she's in let's go and the reason why is we don't have a mixed gender table, right? And that's the other issue is not all Dungeons and Dragons tables are of equal value, right? Like a mixed gender table is the best gendered, is the best table you can get, right? Like, and I know a dungeon master, and I have not achieved that. I do not have a mixed gender table right now with my my main FLGS. So I was like, yeah, let's cram another person around the table, which was going to make the situation worse for every other player at the table. But I was like, for a mixed gender table, I will do that, right? And it just proves, like, not all tables are of equal value. Not all tables are of equal value, period, right? A mixed gender table is a goal that every dungeon master should be going to. And yes, that does mean I think all female player games are are worse than mixed gender tables. I really feel that the mixed gender table is a goal every dungeon master should have. It It's better for Dungeons & Dragons. It's better for TTPRGs. Uh, community as a whole, it's better for society. Um, I just really think it's important, right? And so, this is so there are lots of reasons we know better, we know better, we know better. There are lots of reasons 
why we should not overfill our Dungeons and Dragons tables, and yet we do, right? And it comes from a good place, but we do need to be very aware that once you go over four, man, you're really trying to squeeze too much narrative into a sm too small a cup. Every single word of that is my humble opinion. What's important is when I get to hear your humble opinion when you get in the comments and send your traffic. Please consider like, subscribing, and have a wonderful millennium.